Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down five things that you can do to start your own CBD slash hemp company. Now, if you guys checked out my last video, you guys would know that I started my own. I have a hemp flower dispensary and I sell my own CBD infused coffee. I will be dropping that website down in the description below. I'm here to help you guys out because honestly, it's not that hard to do. Even though I do have these into five steps, there are a lot of things within those five steps, I guess. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. I really didn't want to make a super long video on this and basically hit all of the important things that you need to know and do in order to start your own CBD or hemp company okay but first I would like to thank you guys for all of the support it is greatly appreciated January 19th is my 23rd birthday and I'm trying to hit 250 subscribers so keep subscribing to the channel let's keep growing it okay I have a lot of reviews on the way I have some more of the CBD Q&A series on the way and I also have more videos like this when it comes down to the business side of things so subscribe to the channel let's keep growing it but let's go ahead and get into this video now I do have five things on a list so do not judge me when I look down because that is just me looking at my phone and you know what I'm saying basically just keeping up and make sure I am in order with how I want to talk about things so step number one think about what you want to sell that means do you want to sell oils do you want to sell creams do you want to make soap I wanted to sell everyday commodities for everyday practical use things that people need every single day and it also gives people a dosage of CBD every single day so that is basically what I did and that is why I have mainly a sativa only hemp flower dispensary and I sell CBD infused coffee and I have more things that are coming up that I have to plan and I have to work on and basically figure out recipes okay so think about what you want to sell again a lot of people do oils a lot of people do creams okay those are the more simplistic things that you can really do but I mean it's a lot of people out here looking for these things okay it's a huge market when it comes down to CBD in general figure out what you want to start with and I mean, whatever you start with, that don't mean that you have to stick with that, okay? So you can start with oils and then eventually you're doing something else that causes more thinking and basically like a science experiment, okay? So, you know, you don't have to always stick with that one thing for forever. Just pick something out that you want to start with and then, I mean, you can piggyback off of that and do something else that's similar but different in the future, okay? Think about what you want to sell. Now, step number two, you've thought about everything that you want to sell. Of course, this is the main thing that you have to do. Think of a name. Now, when it comes down to thinking of a name, I would highly advise you do not put CBD in your name. Do not put hemp in your name. Do not put any of that kind of stuff in your name, okay? Anything that's pertaining to CBD and hemp, do not do that. That will come up later down in this list on why, but... You kind of want to stay away from that. When it comes down to a name, you kind of want to think of something, I guess, catchy, or you may want to do something that's simple so everybody can remember it right off the bat. You have to think of a name that's good for social media, okay? A lot of people go out, they pick a name, they go on Instagram, and the name's taken, okay? Or they'll try to create a Twitter, the name's taken. Or they'll try to purchase a domain, and the domain's taken, okay? So you have to be careful with the name and try to... Think of something outside of the box. Even sometimes when you think of things outside of the box, people sometimes still have it, okay? So you want to do a lot of research around that name. You want to look on all social medias. You want to just type it in on Google and just see what other people have because you don't want to also get in trouble for using somebody else's name that could end up in a lawsuit or just somebody, you know, that's that's just a whole nother scenario that you got on top of what you're already trying to do, okay? So, so think of a name that is clearly available for all social media platforms and a name that won't get you in trouble from copying off of somebody else basically, okay? Step number three, distributors. This is very, very important, okay? Now when it comes down to distributors, you can either do this yourself, contact different distributors, do some research, get stuff in, test it and try it. That is what I recommend, okay? A lot of people will go out drop ship through Oberlo, through Shopify. You don't know exactly what people are getting. You haven't tested this yourself. I highly advise doing that, but that is an option. You can either drop ship or you can do it yourself, okay? With me, before I even opened up, I tried a lot of these products beforehand, before even making it available. So everything that I have on my website, I have tried or I use it every single day or almost every day, okay? So that is what I highly advise you to do. Just do some research, go on Google, look for CBD oil wholesalers, look for hemp flower wholesalers. Like there's a whole bunch of 
things that you can do to try to is there's a lot of wholesalers out there honestly there are a lot of wholesalers and distributors out there so that is your best bet to do that yes it is a little bit more expensive than doing drop shipping but drop shipping is more dangerous because that's basically a lawsuit brewing okay all it takes is one customer to have a bad experience or a bad reaction off of something that you sold them and all hell is going to break loose so i highly advise to just leave drop shipping alone when it comes down to cbd stuff that people have to consume okay now when it comes down to like clothes and just random stuff that's different you can drop shit with that but if somebody has to consume it that is a lawsuit brewing to happen okay also, I will be dropping a couple of distributors down in the description below. You have Industrial Hemp Farms. They basically have everything that you can think of. They even have CBD lip balm, okay? CBD protein, uh, hemp hearts. They have a whole bunch of just almost anything you can honestly think of. So I will be dropping that link down in the description below. Now, when it comes down to hemp flower, you also have Hemp Direct, and you have Industrial Hemp Farms, okay? Hemp Direct, I like them because you can always catch a very good sale. They have a lot of BOGOs. They have a lot of sales throughout the week. So if you're thinking about starting your own dispensary, Hemp Direct is a very good company to go through because they will give you your stuff very fast and they always just have a sale on stuff, okay? So you won't have to just shed out thousands of dollars when it comes down to like other wholesalers, you know what I'm saying? You can test stuff out that's on sale and then you can figure out a game plan also when it comes down to industrial hemp farms same thing like they have a lot of sales they just have a lot of variety both of them those are the top two in my opinion if you just ask me when it comes down to just hemp flower and just anything you can think of industrial hemp farms and cbd hemp direct they are really the top two wholesalers out there. Now, I have worked with other companies that do provide wholesale. Uh, Timber Organics also provides wholesale. I will be dropping all three of those down in the description below. Test your product before you make it available, okay? Be authentic to your audience, be authentic to your customers. Do not sell something that you don't use or wouldn't use. Do not do that. Step number four, website. So, with me, when it comes down to a website, I'm honestly just gonna recommend Shopify. Shopify is hemp CBD friendly, so that is your best bet. When it comes down to anybody else, you're trying to start a dispensary or anything that's dealing with hemp or CBD, you may not get those payments, okay? There's a lot of people, they will just shut it down completely and they'll just put your payments on lock. You do not wanna do that. That is a very, very serious situation to be in, but that is just what they do. But Shopify is CBD friendly. Again, you don't wanna be putting CBD oil or hemp in your name you don't want to do any of that you want to think of a name that's kind of discreet and then you'll have to put in like a category what you serve you know what i'm saying do not be just forced to put cbd or hemp in the description of what your business is think of something else there's a whole bunch of little choices that you could choose out of that okay website shopify that is your best bet I'll drop a link down in the description below so you can get a 14 day free trial. You get 14 days free. So with the 14 day trial, what I can recommend you doing is you plan all of this ahead. So go ahead and come up with a name, go ahead and make social media, go ahead and try all of your products and stuff. When you get all of that together, you get it in, boom. Build your website ASAP, okay? If you build your website in a day, that means you have 13 more days that you can try to make a sale Shopify is going to be $30 a month, so you can make $30 from it being open. You just take the money that you've made from that 14-day trial, and it basically pays itself off. When it comes down to making a website, Shopify, even if you've never done this before, it's very easy to just plug and play, fool around with the buttons, fool around with the layouts, fool around with the different themes, and then eventually, boom, you will just come up with a very gorgeous website. You can pay for a theme if you want to. I don't recommend it. If you check out my website down in the description below, I did that entire website by myself, photos and all. It is not impossible to just do this all in one day. I did mine in two days, but simply because I did one half of the website, basically the whole entire layout, did that one day in probably like an hour. I came back the next day, did like the cart, made sure payments could go through all of that stuff handled that in probably like 45 minutes. And then, I mean, I scrolled through, made sure everything worked. It took like 15 minutes for that. So it only took me two hours to build it. So it's not impossible. Now, last step, technically, bank account. When it comes down to anything business related, you wanna keep business and personal separated. 
you don't want to be digging into business for personal reasons. And I mean, you kind of want to stay away from going into your personal funds to do something for your business. Okay, just keep it separated because it's very easy to get money that you've made from business and personal funds confused and now you don't know how much you've made from business because the numbers are mixed up. It's not that hard to open up another bank account. A lot of people will tell you to just apply online to another bank. What I would tell you to do is just open up your bank app, click add an account, and it will make you an account and you will get a debit card in the mail for that account. Okay, that is just what I recommend doing. Fortunately for me, I already had uh, another bank account that was already up. So what I did was just link my Shopify to that account because I just never used it. It was there and it wasn't a savings. Like it was for something else that I had planned. I never really got around to it. So boom, I just used that, linked it up. So I keep my personal finances and my business finances totally separate. It just helps to not confuse yourself. If business is booming and you start mixing it up, you don't know you don't know where the money's coming from, okay? So it it can be a lot of confusion and you just just keep it separated. It makes it easier for you in the long run. Short term, you may not really realize, but in the long term, trust me, it makes a world difference when you keep everything separated. Now, just for a bonus step, just open up shop, okay? Promote all of this stuff on social media, build up hype, and boom, open up on them. So for the skippers, I know a lot of people like to skip through the videos. I'm just going to run through the whole entire list. So one, think about what you want to sell, whether that's oils, creams, soaps, uh, everyday commodities like me. I have a hemp flower dispensary and I have a coffee line. So then two, you want to think of a name. One, you want to make sure that that name is available for a domain and you want to make sure that that name is available on all social medias that you plan on using. You wanna make sure it's not somebody else's name. And also you wanna keep CBD and hemp out of your name. Distributors, avoid drop shipping when it comes down to consumable products. All right, drop ship knickknacks and random stuff, but if it's an oil, hemp flower, anything that a person has to consume, do not drop ship it. Find a wholesaler, find a distributor. I will be dropping three wholesalers and distributors down in the description below so check them out and honestly they have a little bit of everything industrial hemp farms has literally everything cbd hemp direct has a whole bunch of hemp flower choices okay and they do have a lot of sales so you could check that out and then you got timber organics that have very high quality products they have disposable vapes they have hemp flower so check them out i will be dropping them down in the description below and again test all of this stuff out do not sell something that you would not use or don't use step number four website you want to get your domain you want to build it up use shopify i'm not going to recommend anybody else except for shopify because shopify is what i use that is your best bet because if you go somewhere else and they find out that you're cbd hemp related they may not be cbd or hemp friendly boom they have a hold on your funds and shut your website down then that's a whole lot of money that's out of the window that you more than likely will not get back keep hemp and cbd out of your name i will be dropping down in the description below so you can get you a 14 day free trial what i recommend you doing is just planning all this stuff out make sure that you have your name everything that you want to sell you've tested it all open up shop and let that free trial pay for itself, okay? Step number five, bank account. You wanna keep personal finances and business finances completely separate. You do not want those to mix because it is very easy to not realize how much you've made over here and what you've brought in over here. It gets mixed up, you don't know what you're doing. And then last step is a bonus step, open up shop. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to smoke real quick and start working on this industrial hemp farm strain review. All right, so see you guys in the next video. I'm out.